Okay, video Fletcher here, and this is episode 24 of Let's Play Smarter. This is my third time recording it. I was originally going to do it with the screen annotations, as, as shown in a previous video, but that didn't work out too well. Uh, there was trouble with audio, and the frame rate dropped terribly because it's only a screen recording program. So, what I'm going to do is just going to do it my old style way, and uh, I'll try to put the arrows on as possible. Now, this is Execution on War Machine, and he is not playing in a party. It's advised to play in a party. Now, you'll notice more often than not, people will go to the boom shot and talk ball area because there are, they generally are better weapons in Gears 2 because the sniper doesn't register. Now, in Gears 1, the sniper had active downs, so you could put pressure uh, onto people with the talk ball. You could control the talk ball, this uh, side of the map over here, and the vending machines. Uh, also, obviously, can get snipes up top onto the mulcher, or troika as the case would be in Gears 1. Now the problem is, what I used to do, uh, and fail at quite hard, was uh, I'd go to the power weapon that I'm best of and I enjoy when really that was the wrong choice. Uh, sometimes when we were 3-2 up, I'd say I would call, like, right, come on, let's control the snipe, mainly because I didn't want to get active downed. But when you've got a team next to you, they can always revive you, so it's not too much pressure, not too much trouble. So what you can end up doing is you can get squished down uh, into the top ball area, uh, sorry, into the snipe area, and your angles get cut off, so eventually been pushed back and back back towards the end of the map, and then you're only controlling that little sniper cove, and then people can come and get cross lancer, lancer angles on you, and you get pushed back, and you end up losing. Uh, what you should do, really, is try and control the amount, the massive amount of space you can with the kind of limited guys you have. So that was just a little quick explanation before we jump into the gameplay of kind of space. Uh, like I say, you want to control the, as most uh, amount of space as you possibly can, and don't get crushed down into one area. If you feel that the way the match is swinging, if you're gonna carry the way you're carrying on, if you feel like you're gonna get crushed into a certain area, you know, just make the call, make like sort of a brave move, and push out and just try and control as much space as you can. So we'll get back into the gameplay. Ink grenades on this map as well. Uh, first little mistake is uh, if you notice here, he throws the ink grenade over, and uh, he's not sure where it's landed. So what he does is he hops over. The reason this is a bad move is mainly because he doesn't know where the ink grenade is, which he should do, or his team should call it out, but also that even if there isn't an ink grenade there, he's also just pushed into a guy with a boom shot, so it's mainly just best to roll back and put the pressure on with the Lancer. Turns out he gets down by the ink grenade, both uh, boom shot and uh, our friend here, I go by Mojo, and uh, I think he actually, which is a really big mistake, is he let, gets let back up, which, you know... <laughs> Just don't let you kill up. If you can, if you can uh, easily stop them getting back up, which this guy can here, as you can tell, he's clueless. He gets cross lancered, and he's going to get punished for it here. So their team has just lost control of the boom shot. Uh, Kim's going to get down there because there was nice double angles on him, and uh, he's just faffing about here. But he's going to, he's going to go and get the kill. So don't let people back up. Second sort of mistake is don't fire the boom shot upwards, as you'll notice he misses and hits the stairs. The boom shot is a weapon designed to kind of be fired into a group of people on the floor for splash damage or against a back wall. Uh, so the splash damage will kill him. Here he misses him and luckily the locust beats him down but you know his team could have died there uh, simply because he didn't roll up. Um, but again nothing too major to worry, out, worry about. Just a little tip there. Going into the second round right now. And we'll see what happens shall we. Again, uh, he's going to be controlling the top bow and boom area because, like I said, the sniper isn't that good. Although you will see a nice little display from him uh, coming up. What happens here is that this is nice play. He notices getting uh, completely outnumbered. There is one, two, three, four, and there was one lancer in, so everybody's gone to top bow. So he just casually rolls back and takes cover on this pillar and uses uh, the right hand side advantage. Gets that first huge chunk shot off on him, and he goes down. Pushes in, nice move here, he still knows he's outnumbered, so he picks up a shield. Grenades come in, and he points the grenade at towards the uh, meat shield, and the meat shield takes the damage, and he lives. Puts on the pressure with the Lancer, should get him down right now, if he pushes in with a shotgun, which he should do. And he gets a nice revive there, nice to see him helping out his teammate. Um, again, he's using the alternate control scheme, if you don't know. Uh, one of the main things in Gears of War is that uh, you run and you roll and before I'll pause it whilst I make this point um, the alternate control scheme is in Gears 1 uh, you run and you roll are on the same button, the A button and accidentally sometimes when you're in the heat at the moment and you're all bouncing or, you, or you're strafing then you can accidentally roll against a piece of cover because you're just that tiny section away from uh, 
making it to the cover. So instead of doing a slide, it does a roll, and then once you roll, you're dead in Gears 1 because there's a little pause in the animation and they can blow you away. So in this one, it, uh, they're on two different controls, so you can choose when you want to run and roll. So props to him for using that because I could not get used to it. Right now, he's firing the turbo with a hit fire. He shouldn't be doing this. He should either be putting on pressure with the splash damage. With one guy left, you shouldn't be going for a stick. Uh, now he switches and he gets him down, but uh, one of his team died there, which was unnecessary. So uh, that was one little thing I've noticed. <clears throat> but again, these little things, uh, I don't want to be knocking people's gameplay because they're kindly sending it in. But it's just giving tips to you guys. And hell, I make so many mistakes. I could upload hundreds of fail clips. So don't think that I'm some trying to talk shit on people because I'm really not. Because nobody's perfect and I'm sure as hell not. Picks up the ink grenade this time. He wants to put his pressure on his own. Uh, so he's going to... What I completely forgot about this, right? The pistol does so much damage in Gears 2 when you're accurate with it. And he gets the down there, which is brilliant suppressing. And uh, also support. Uh, he's playing the support role. And what I mean by that is he's not really doing too much face-to-face uh, -face shotgun battles. He's putting on the pressure, weakening the enemies. Uh, as you will see in the end, he gets, I think, about eight downs. So he's putting on the pressure. And that guy there, no, little thing to note is watch your kill feed because he saw the mulch have been picked up. And uh, he's lantern out of cover and he gets headshot, really. So, again, don't lantern out of cover when you know somebody's got sniper. Keep an eye on that kill feed. Right now, he's going to switch. He accidentally switches. I can tell that. He's stuck in an awkward position now. He misses those shots, but luckily his team's there. Again, general... Uh, General just missing there. I can't put it down to anything else and he gets bodied. Uh, if we play that back, what happens is he switches and he panics. So uh, he gets headshot here, if this is the right bit. We'll find... Yeah, here we go. He gets headshot and uh, he takes cover. I hear the Kim roll, so he should know he's coming. I don't think he does. Gets caught off by surprise. Now what I should do here is just hold his position. Instead he switches, he gets climbed over. Right now he should be rolling back into his team to get uh, as close to his team as possible for so they can be revived and also so he can get help. Um, but again, he just need, he's just what tends to happen in Gears 2 is people shoot the second they can. So they'll shoot, the gun's reloaded, they'll shoot, the gun's reloaded, they'll shoot. Now what they need to do is just pace the shots and make sure they hit him because with the TU6 shotgun, title update 6 shotgun, then people go down pretty much in one or two shots so you can afford to take your split second longer. Reams of information today. Reams of information. We're feeling good. He's going to go top bow again. And this time, this is a nice move if this is the better looked at. Uh, yep, he's going to get the nice little cross lancer on this uh, guy. Now, this is what I was talking about. He gets the cross lancer, and it's only one or two bullets. But like I always say, one or two bullets can make the difference, and he gets the down. Goes ahead, gets his kill. Now, this time, last time we saw a great display of meat shield. This time, not so good. A... I hear the grenade been thrown. Now, what he does is he just drops it and tries to drop it and roll out there, and he, and he gets killed. What he should have done is held onto that meat shield, because if he doesn't know where it is, that meat shield, you know, it may just be pointing in the right direction. You've got uh, up your on Lady Luck's side, um, but he's not, and he drops it. He tries to roll away, and he gets killed. So if he'd have held onto it, he would have at least had a fighting chance of living. You never know. He might have sponged it. This guy uh, gets a nice little body there and picks up the down. No point letting him, the other guy, get his kill. I don't mind my kills being stolen if it's for a round win. Uh, I'm just a sort of team player, and generally I play with my friends, so when people rob the kill, it's just a laugh, and it? it's just a game, I'm just trying to win. Fifth round we enter into. This time, he's going to go snipe. He's had enough of putting suppression on, uh, so he knows every round nobody's gone to snipe, so he thinks, hey, there's a free snipe. Why not take it? Because none of his other team have. Now, this is a great display right now. Uh, he doesn't have an active down, but he, he's so accurate with it. Uh, this is the thing, if you can't get a headshot, just check him in the body. He goes down. He pushes in, gets the active reload. Lovely no scope on him, gets him down. That, that is two bullets, two downs, due to the due to the angle that the other team put on, well, his team put on with the Lancer to get them red, and the two shots put them down, so that was nice. Little thing to note here, if we skip it back, is as I was talking about the kill feed, you can see him up there on top, so he knows something's up. Uh, SK Barnes picks up the Mulcher, gets his kill. Now what I should have just done is uh, just backed away, or at least picked him up as a meat shield. But I think he got caught off guard, and he tries to make his way to that cover so he, the uh, angle can't get made by the Mulcher and point down and kill him. But he doesn't quite make it, and his team mops up the kill. But again, just keep an eye on that kill feed. 
because that could have been uh, easily grenades been picked up there and they could have been lobbed in so just keep an eye on that kill feed so the four one up seven downs so some great support fire will he go snipe again let's find out it was quite uh, effective but no he thought they're going to expect it so he's going to switch up his play again now this is something I like if this is the bit that I remember he, if I pause it now you can see the two running upstairs so he immediately thinks hey there's a well, what he should think in his mind is call it out. Nobody's at top bow because it's clear because they're all running up top for some reason. What he does is he tries to put the pistol on and he goes and follows them. This is something that isn't advised. Uh, he's going to try hold them off for as long as possible, but he should have gone and got that top bow because, hey, it's a free top bow and it's so good in this game. Still no one's picked it up in his team, so I'm guessing that no one's got the situational awareness or they simply haven't been told. He knows the Kim's red, so he's trying to focus on that. Again, focus on the guy that you've got red. Don't don't try to take them all out with your pistol, because it's never going to happen. Still no top bow's been picked up. He's still pushing in here when he knows that uh, there's three of them. The shotgun downs him from crazy range, and uh, that shouldn't happen, but you know, that won't happen in Gears 3. So if you get down from crazy range, don't worry too much. Now he's downed, and what does his team do? Did they revive him? Nope. He goes for a snipe shot and lets him die. So, absolutely no explanation for that. Don't do that. Uh, if you're watching my channel, uh, I don't like people that do that. If you want to get a clip, that's fine. But don't do it when it affects your team. So, just just don't do it. This guy uh, tries to peep over and gets a body. Um, no, he doesn't get a body and he gets killed, sorry. And uh, this guy gets a simple headshot. This is the guy that um, left his teammate down with the sniper. One thing that was nice, but I think it was accidental, is if we watch it back, uh, he does get downed and bodied. Now, if you watch that back, the only redeeming factor that he got the snipe was he gets the headshot. Now, watch what happens here is uh, Peaches and Cream goes to the back of the map. The sniper cuts off his angle, and as he cuts off his angle, the Peaches and Cream has to push, and boom, he pushes into Tragics. He's got a nice hammer burst, strafes him out there. Still putting on the damage, switches to a shotgun and bodies him. So that was a nice little angle there. Hopefully you picked up some tips, hopefully maybe you just enjoyed the episode. If you did, then like the video. Thank you. And remember to keep submitting on my gaming forum if you want your gameplay analysed. Uh, so yeah, there'll be a link in the description for that. Again, thanks for watching and please do comment. It goes, 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 it